seen this story before. Yes, we have. This is this is a tale as old as time here at Xanadu. And so it's really going to be... I, I feel like lately it's kind of been in Dexter's favor, if I recall correctly. Uh, I, I think it seems as though... Like, didn't ZD win the last one, though? Yeah, ZD went the last one. Oh, no, no, okay. Seagull Joe. I'm thinking of Seagull Joe. Yeah, Sorry. Seagull Joe has been... De yeah, exactly. yeah, Seagull Joe has been struggling to get a grip on Dexter as he goes through a tear. But, of course, ZD is the man, the myth, the legend. I'm excited to see what he brings to the table because these two have gone so back and forth so many times. Mm -hmm. It's just fascinating to see their own game. Well, I think what um, has really changed it is that ZD recommitted to going Fox in this matchup. He used to like try to do the Wolf Ditto. Yeah, and I, I really do feel like Dexter has the best You wolf cannot, de you cannot Wolf yeah. Ditto Dexter. Yeah. Seagull tried it and failed, and I think ZD has tried it, and that's why that Fox is working out for him, as we can see. See now, a quick way to get back on stage, Dexter not finding an option to secure himself that offstage pressure, but now ZD finding some pressure with that just stream of up airs. Oh, damn ladder combo. 65% off of a couple up airs, letting this man know that he's going to have to work if he wants to land. Yeah, it's absolutely brutal to see. I mean, I thought this was—I thought it was snakes and ladders, not foxes and ladders. I mean, come on. God damn. Yeah, give this man a chance to breathe. And of course, yeah, it isn't shoots and ladders; it's bears and ladders. Yeah, you're right. Go up. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Just like it's worth it for Dexter to, you know, find that center stage as best he can because ZD's giving him a run for his money. Yeah, just quick spot dodge, not finding that up air to secure himself that second stock. Not finding that up smash either as Dexter takes a little bit of control. Kind of getting scary now. Calls yeah. out this... Oh my lord. I, I really do feel that when CD gets like this, when he's in people's heads and he's able to call out things like that dash grab, it just... It can be so hard. And oh, yeah, it is yes. not it is not gonna be a grind without Dexter like accidentally fast falling off of edge, and putting himself in an awkward spot yeah. and leading to his death. That drag down forward air ZD's gonna hit that every single time. I hate to say it, but that's like the third or fourth week in a row I've seen this happen to Dexter. And it's tra I've seen it happen game ten of grand finals, and yeah. it's so tragic. It is. But hey, at least he gets it out of the way right now. Exactly. He yeah. has the games. This it, is the best of five since the winter finals. Game one is a pretty important game for counter picks, but if he gets it out of the way now, smooth sailing from here. Very true. All right, game two on Dexter's counter pick, and what is it? Back to the stadium. It's, it's literally just like, I, I really do feel like stages play a much smaller role in this matchup often, particularly with these two players, because both of them know exactly what the other person wants to do. We're, we're at the point where it's less about the character matchup and more about the player matchup. Exactly. I mean, like I've said, these guys play so many times. They've been doing it for almost a decade now. Yeah, these guys have been in the long haul playing against each other, and to see each other in the winner's bracket of like winner semis, finals, or grands every single week, you get to know each other uh, pretty comfortably. That's it. Very true. And the, the the game may change, the characters may change, but oftentimes the player happens to stay the same. And like we've we've seen what ZD can do when he gets a hold of you, when he gets like the ability to read you properly. But right now, Dexter, I think he's playing a lot better. Like, look at this movement, in and out, yeah. in and out. He tries to the down tail. That's an interesting mix-up. I don't even know if it's a mix-up. It's like an, a difference between the two players. Is that ZD almost always just charges down smash, and Dexter is really one of the few wolves to try for that down tilt for the reset at edge. Yeah, and he's gotten it plenty of times, too, so it makes sense to see, but... Calling one thing, double jump. Yeah, one thing he's not getting is a stock, because uh, whoo, ZD cleans his plate really nicely. Oh, but Dexter, with that scoop, Gets him right back. He just whipped the dash grab. It's so unfortunate. Dash grabs are just so bad in this game. If you ever wish one, whiff one at high percent, you are getting killed. Yeah, it's pretty tragic to see, but still, Dexter again finding some footing. That's also the Dexter edge guard, by the way. Oh. He's standing underneath platform up tilting. Yeah, he's been, so good. He's really broken out. Okay, the, the double reflector parry? Whoa, calm down, dude. What was that? That was so sick, and then not only did he get the parry, but he got the friends of mine to recognize that that shine had invuln on it, so he delayed his punish ever so slightly. Yeah, dude, why are you guys asking for Goku and Smash? He's already here. <laughs> oh my Instant goodness. transmission yeah. right to the blast zone. That was absolutely just amazing to see. I, just, I almost double take, like what? Okay, catches that roll with the with the Fox Illusion. Getting a little bit snazzy now. Upward angle forward tilt, you almost never see that. That's a weird option, but Dexter, I mean, he's the king of weird options. He knows what this character can do. Yeah, he does some pretty unconventional stuff, and it pays out for him very well. Yeah, because right now he has ZD in a bind. Back air will seal it. Only 83% here, so we're at another 10% before an up tilt, excuse me, neutral air into up smash will kill. Yeah, that is some one of ZD's favorite methods of execution. You know, getting an aerial into that up smash, maybe into that down smash, or 
you know? He has some mix-up options available too, but I mean, it's not going to happen if Dexter is not going to let you play the game. He almost had it right there with that down smash. Like, yeah. The timing was just ever so slightly off, but that would have killed him this percent. Oh, and as we said, gets that aerial, gets that up smash, and gets that stock. There, I was trying. It just feels like Fox has that like clear, consistent kill confirmed. But the problem is that when you try to fish for it, you're fishing against a character in Wolf whose anti airs are just strictly superior to yours. So if like ZD hops around too much, Dexter can anti air him right out of this game. Yeah, let's see though. Can Dexter bring it back? This is still such a close game too. These guys are really neck and neck. Dexter taking that slight percent lead now, scooping up and put that up smash. Stuck on that platform. Can he get himself off? Yes, he can. Triple digit percent now, it's about to be ZD's name, but of course, if he manages to fight back enough, it's going to be Dexter's instead. Okay, and you already see, just look at this, just throw out the hitbox yeah. and say, if you come in, I will bop you for it. And Dexter, I, I really feel like the difference between these two right now is that Dexter has missed every single two frame option. He just doesn't get him anymore. Like, that's such a tool. Oh game. no, that kind of aggressive forward smash gets snuffed out, scooped up, and loses him the game. I don't know if that was what he meant to do. Yeah, you could see on his face, he was like, oh yeah. no. Just the, the expression for it. I, I don't feel like ZD's the type of player that's going to bet at all, especially considering that I don't think I would have killed. Yeah. At center stage, I don't think the forward smash would kill at that angle. Technical flub in that last hit, last stock scenario was absolutely tragic, but Dexter's happy to get himself on the board, and it's a best of five, so he has some time to work with. Mm -hmm. So moving on, 1-2-1 one, one now. So we'll have to see. I said the counterpicks weren't going to play too big of a role in this matchup. Is ZD content to bring it back to Stadium? Or... Yes, he is. Yeah, there these we guys go. just love playing on Stadium. And they have a good Team Galactic music to kind of soothe us while we watch this bloodbath unfold. Absolutely nice to hear. Real talk, I kind of want to see uh, my by Dave Stupid Rule, MDSR, like applied. Have you, you know what that is? Yeah. It's, it's, it's basically for any of you yeah. guys who do not happen to know, it's where you cannot pick the counterpick that you want. So, like, basically, unless they... Like, they could still jump into the stage. But I really oh. do feel like it would open up the, like, that, okay, that diversity. All right, did cut a tangent for a second. That forward smash was on purpose, yeah, and it was. pulled off. All right, ZD was like, I flubbed it once. I can do it nice this time. Yeah, so having having that stupid rule intact would actually be great for stage diversity. And we have stages with, you know, between five and, you know, eight to ten stages. So why not use them? Exactly. Force, force some diversity. Really good. It's fun to see. And it gets people from, you know, just sticking to PS2 all the time like we see here. True. And also, I mean, don't get me started on stage list in general. I really do believe in uh, in like a, a much broader stage list. I think I'm I'm right there with Zach though that we need like 11 stages. Yeah, I think having having that bigger stage count will be do us wonders. But I mean, these boys don't need it. Nope, they so, are. Some people are just comfortable. With, yep. Yeah, some people are comfortable saying yeah, PS2, okay, and then immediately running it back no matter what, win or loss. Oh, that nice. Yeah, that is untackable. Mm -hmm. That is what Dexter needed right there. Yeah. He, he was missing the two frames continuously, so just, just go ahead and go off stage for him, I guess. Let's see. Oh, He damn. held down. Beefy up B. Yeah, Smart. the beefy up B. Dexter's been putting that into practice a lot lately. I've been seeing him do that multiple times. It happened last week as well, where he was playing out that trick. It's a great way to prevent an edge guard. He used to do it a lot more until they nerfed like, the, the size of the hitbox yeah. on that. It makes Wolf's foot a little bit more vulnerable, so it turned it from, instead of just being something that you do every time, to being a good mix-up. And again, catching the double jump. That's the one read that ZD has had on Dexter every single game so far. And paying dividends, to say yeah. the least. That's three stocks he's gotten with it. Like, yeah. That's stunning that Dexter hasn't adopted, adapted to that. Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, hope he's adopt something new in that place because with the, if he gets losing stocks like that, it's going to be kind of tragic. Reflector coming out, no parries this time. And then Dexter just says, I think you're going to drop shield, up smash. It's like, yeah, it won't kill you, but it, it looks good. It's all about the style here. 99% oh, that killed? Man. Really? That From killed that early? Stage? With barely any percent on Dexter? Come I forgot, on. I forgot that this was Wolf. Yeah, do you ever forget that it was Wolf? You're good, but I'm better, dude. Yeah. Got it. Can, you can't forget it. My lord, this that's, character, that's, this yeah. character got some tools. Got and some Dexter, fat buttons. He died like basically when ZD was at like 30% on stock one, and now already he has an opportunity right here oh to get the stock. God. Back throw but gets a living. two frame. We living, but oh yeah, but the dare spike is gonna do him in, and with a crazy comeback, Dexter manages to go two, one in game so far here against ZD. I gotta feel oh a little God. bit of frustration coming off of ZD. Yeah. I mean, if I was in his spot, I would be. That's I think I'll be talking to Dexter right now, and I would be saying a few things that are not esports safe. They'd have to go ahead and mute the commentators' mics because I think <laughs> the commentators would be able to hear me. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's, that's I, He literally just got back thrown into immediately two framed and almost killed him at 40%. And I actually don't know if he was going to make it back. And then Dexter went out there to secure the kill with the down air. Immaculate. Immaculate. Yeah, you can't even understand. Like, yeah, this man's this man's kind of top dog right here for a reason. I feel like the burst options of these two characters are just so radically different. Fox can burst you by dealing 80% in a string and putting you in a bad spot to continue with, like, an edge trapping. Wolf just kills you. Yeah. Like, there's no, there's no, like, 
There's nothing you can do about that. Wolf just pulls out the Glock. There's literally nothing that ZD could have done in that interaction. He got Oh my home. god, speaking of not doing it, reading that air death. dodge and bam. That's a zero to death. Yeah, ZD's not happy. That's how that's you know when ZD's not happy, because he just comes back with fire. Like this last game, he got that forward smash kill, and again he brings it out, and he's like, after last game, you should be ashamed. There's the up again. again. Oh, yeah. You can see every time that ZD wants to get aggressive with that option, trying to, you know, defend his home turf on that stage, Dexter will use that beefy uppy and get himself a little bit of safety on the ledge. This tech continues the combo string, and this is looking a, like a rough game for Dexter here. Yeah, that spot dodge call out will scoop up ZD, but still, you need to secure the stock now if you want to find yourself in at least a favorable position. Because I don't think ZD's going to let you do that twice to him. Down smash, but roll in, miss tech, but no punish there. Dexter gets the dash attack to go ahead and get something, and then the lingering neutral there, but he has to finish. What's the option? He misses the down smash. Yeah, does not get that two frame, and Fox McCloud back on stage safely. Four throw's not going to kill him, but keeps him off stage at disadvantage and racking up that percent further. Up Don't touch smash. me. Don't touch me. Why are you touching my shield, bro? Step off. Exactly. Step off. Why, why are you touching my shield, bro? Step off. I don't, even think, I don't even think ZD actually touched his shield. That was still yeah, in boom. Dex matter. came off of the Angel platform and said, I go here now, you're going to jump, I'm going to up smash. That was just like coming off of the Angel platform with a vengeance. Yeah, I mean, when you're down three socks, someone, you want to find something, and that desperation up smash is what he needed to get himself back in the game. Because right now, he's left and present, down a stock, not great for him right now. What are you going to do, Dexter? Apparently trying to air dodge a way to get out of the string, but ZD is going to follow up and we're back to edge. Trap situation. Oh, you okay. cannot get back, sir. The edge is where you belong. That is your home. There are many like it, but this one is yours, Dexter. Please try go with back. Smash. Not going to work, though. That check ain't going to work either. Up till up air, and then he was he was fiending for that uh, that back air right there, but not quite. Smart by ZD to, to lay off. <laughs> Just pulled out the gap point playing. Please, I need my space. This is my personal space. <laughs> And Dexter is in such an unfavorable position right now. These two dancing around each other, playing the game of who can commit the least while putting the most pressure. And I guess Dexter, because he didn't have to do anything to secure that stop. That was not the mango. Yeah, that, that was is. not the mango. Yeah, not the mango he needed. Unfortunately, this ain't the melee glory days for you, Fox McCloud. Because right now, Look you just need to secure that shot. Yeah, this is... Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Like at this point, I'm like feeling it in my bones that Dexter's gonna do something stupid to win this game. Oh too. Nope. no, that get up attack is not safe, my guy. Yeah, don't trust your intuition. That's what <laughs> yeah, a little bit too eager on the hit trigger there, and he pays for it. And now we are two two. <laughs> exactly on to game five. ZD game five is a fearsome competitor though, so I am curious to see what we have in store. I think just stick with the fox. There's. The problem really is that these matches are close, and they're only close because ZD is getting zero to deaths or very nearly that. Like, game two, ZD got a zero to death, and Dex, or just about a zero to death, he died at 30. And then, and then Dexter responded in kind. Game four, ZD literally got a zero to death, and Dexter still brought it all the way back. In neutral, Dexter is showing that he has the superior game, but ZD is just, his adaptations are just phenomenal, and he's, he seems to be a little bit better at finishing. Yeah, I mean, finishing your plate is such a vital aspect in this game. And so it's easy to finally uh, find the percentages, find the stocks that fit him, and getting those wins is, is what really makes it important at the end of the day. His Ooh. ledge trapping is really, really good, too. Like, this has been a problem for Dex. Whenever he gets into a bad spot and he takes ledge, he usually just doesn't get back until he's had 40 or 30 percent attack back on. All right, that quick spot dodge to avoid the blaster was kind of swag from ZD. I respect that hustle. And right now, he's also kind of swagging by having a nice percentage, but struggling to land, struggling to get center stage a little bit because he's kind of Trying to duke it out with Dexter. Good Tomahawk, though. Get Dexter off. But very wisely, Dexter did not expend his double jump that time. He should get back. Yeah, there we go. ZD misses up the timing on that two-frame. Dexter using his patented uh, foot hop from edge into oh. shine. And then yeah, again. Yeah, just barely coming back. Oh, but not this that time. time. Yeah, that yeah. time he double jumped, and again, ZD was ready. Every time Dexter tries to double jump out of corner, ZD is there with an aerial. He's even covering it when Dexter's not doing it, and Dexter is not respecting it. Okay, down smash not connecting for Dexter. He is in quite a pickle, only 55% on ZD's first stock. And you now are, oh, nice shield last second to save himself Very from the SDI, last hit. Yeah. Air dodge keeping ZD alive, and those up tilts keeping Dexter in disadvantage. Hold shield a little bit longer, try to go for something like a parry, not finding it. No double jump here, no. Did he actually oh, didn't have it. Yeah, he did have double jump, but he still has a plethora of recovery moves to keep himself alive. But can Dexter two frame? No, that was the mangle ZD was looking for. Very true. Up tilt, the neutral just trying to get off me. Dexter commits to ZD's attempt at a jump in, but ZD not giving it to him. 
Back airs, no, just run up and grab him. Yeah, I recognize the Dexter's a little bit scared in shield. Yeah, that, that back off air dodge from Dexter was so smart because that up smash was about to be lethal and you do not want to be down two stocks. Rather, he evens it up. All right, just back it on off stage and kill him again, Dex. We, we all know you can do it. We've seen it happen. That down smash not quite finding purchase and now ZD pays for it in percentage. Yeah, this is an even game all of a sudden. That 73%, like, it's both these characters are at kill percent. Oh, bad backer. Oh, we live in. Just barely. Phenomenal DI, but now he's at the bad angle. Can't get the forward tilt, though. Yeah. Again, ZD just doing struggling. such a good job here, avoiding these two frames. But look at this. Dash attack. You have my tip of my boot, boy. ZD. Oh, have the tip of my boot, boy. They just trade stock for stock sometimes. Blow for blow, bit for bit, game punch for, game. for punch. Two heavyweight prize fighters have come out here in winner's finals. We're down to the last stock, potentially, of this winner's bracket run for both players. Yeah, this is an absolute Thunderdome match. Two men enter, but only one of these guys is leaving in this game five last stock situation. All right, gets the rapid jab, forcing Dexter off stage. Are we going to see the two frame? No, doesn't even attempt it that time. The, the weird mix-up recovered from Dexter working out in his favor because he finds now the advantage on ZD. It's a game five mix-up, my man. Game Saving five. that one in the back pocket. Yeah, you need it at the last second when the time is right, and right now... ZD, that, he needed to jump oh. out there. If he hit the ground, Dexter was coming up with that down smash. All right, up these tilt. up tilts doing wonders for him. Can you, how do you get Zat down, ZD? Because you might not be getting down at this rate. He jumped. He jumped in air yes. dodge. He actually killed himself with that one. There were no red sparks on that trail. ZD could have survived, but he jumped trying to alter his angle, buffered an air dodge, and died for it.